was something that we realized was very important as we were working in this block and talking to residents that it is a community that hasn't quite developed itself yet. There is no place for the community to gather other than at the void deck. But the void deck is actually not very amenable for them to you know, sit down and have conversations. So we needed to use this place to engage the residents at the same time, get the residents to talk about why and how they want this place to be lively. Then at the same time, the artists engage the residents in creating work and talk about what it means to live well. So the two teams of living, as well as the team of making this uh, place a livelier place, came together and resulted in an installation that has this whole project turning into a beautiful exhibition space, also a place where people can gather. And at the same time, then we develop a carnival that celebrates the idea of what it means to die well. In deciding what to do in celebrating death, we thought that using the idea of carnival would be good because most people will think that death is such a heavy subject. But to make it a carnival where it seems lighter, but there's also the idea of normalizing death conversation through a carnival rather than making it a solemn subject that one feels you know, fearful to approach. So that's why the carnival was designed in a very light way with a lot of beautiful colors, but at the same time, it doesn't take away the seriousness of the topic. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the music theater song for, for tomorrow. tomorrow. If tomorrow never comes, will she know how much I've loved her? Is the love that I gave her in the past gonna be enough to last? If tomorrow never comes I am not going to let my emotions get the better of me I am here to save lives at which point someone is facing a problem and is struggling with it and then ask if you're this character what else he or she could have done to make the situation better.